Hi, today Kevin Swapno and I will be discussing how we designed a green Bergeron using SAM. We used a decision matrix to evaluate different renewable energy technologies and we decided the ones we would move forward with are solar energy with lithium ion battery energy storage due to their overall high scores. If we need more electricity, we would consider other options such as biomass and wind. We wanted to implement a reliable renewable energy source, so we chose solar. We chose it to reduce the operational cost of the bridge as well with electricity and maintenance, and to reduce the carbon footprint of the bridge as well. Additionally, we have plenty of space across campus to implement the solar panels on the roofs of buildings, and we can accommodate the university environment, so it won't be a disruption to the daily life for students or even the geese at York. The two solar panels we have in consideration are the Longlight Bifacial 72 HPD panel and the SunPower X21 345 panel. We chose a bifacial panel because of its resistance to degradation and snowy conditions and a simple monofacial panel for comparison. These panels are also available in SAM to conduct our analysis. Alongside solar panels, we wanted to implement energy storage to further reduce the operational cost of electricity associated with the birch through peak shaving. We also believe that energy storage can provide a reliable energy source during times of emergency. We believe it also has a smooth integration with other renewable energy technologies, so if York University ever wanted to expand to wind power in the future, that would be easily integrated as well. In SAM, unfortunately, there's not any specific models available to conduct our analysis, so we chose the standard lithium-ion NMC graphite model. Now we will discuss the various procedure we carried out to model in SAM. We used a detailed PV model with commercial owner in SAM. Then we started our location analysis under the Location and Resource tab. We extracted the weather data for Bergeron using the geographic coordinates. In the model section, we determined the amount of solar panels we would require not only to meet but exceed the energy requirement of the Burge. We wanted to exceed this requirement to account for the loss we would face in energy conversion due to panel and inverter in efficiencies. We used this formula shown to determine the size in kilowatt for all the panels we would need. We had to find out if you could fit all the panels on the roof of the bridge. To do this, we, we used the satellite view in Google Maps to find the surface area. We determined that we would need more space to fit both the models we were evaluating. So we decided that along with using the bridge on roof, we would use the Curtis Lecture Hall, then finally Stacy's Library roof if we needed. Here is the visual representation of how we plan to allocate the panels. In terms of schematic, all the PV panels will be connected to the inverter where it would convert DC to AC current and then it would connect the step down transformer. The switches are used for contractors in emergencies if we need to disconnect the power. In the electrical room, the switchboard will be the main function where you can control and monitor the system from workplace. The schematic is a single line diagram representing a three phase power system. Next, we conducted our analysis using two inverters model, the 208 ABB inverter and the 600 watt ABB inverter. We chose those two to accommodate the possible different inputs alternating current voltages. The max output power of the first one is 10 kilowatt and the second one is 1827.3 kilowatt. We implemented the information we obtained for the inverter in the system design tab. We changed the number of inverters and module configurations for a standard DC to AC ratio of 1.2. Tracking and orientation was kept fixed and the tilt angle for the panels was then determined. Next, to maximize annual energy, we use a parametric function in SAM to determine the optimal variables for tilt angle, ground clearance, and ground coverage ratio. It was found that a tilt angle of 35 degrees, a ground clearance of 1 meter, and a ground coverage ratio of 0.1 meters maximize our annual energy from the panels. In the shading and layout section, self-shading was set to standard and nonlinear. The annual degradation rate was found to be 0.45% and 0.25% from the panel spec sheets. Previously, we determined we wanted to use lithium ion batteries over lead acid and flow batteries in our decision matrix. In the battery and cell system section, we set the battery type to lithium ion NMC graphite, and then the battery capacity and desired bank power amounts were determined by maximizing net present value using the parametric function in SAM. In the battery dispatch section, we determined the minimum, maximum, and initial state of charge of the lithium-ion batteries and set it to 15, 95, and 50% respectively. The dispatch option was set to peak shaving one day look ahead, and the battery was set to charge only from the system. 
In the system cost section, it was important for us to determine the cost per kilowatt hour for the solar panels and the inverters. We included these amounts to be able to accurately calculate the operational amounts for our LCOE. In the parameter section, we changed the loan rate to 7% because in class we learned that this is the typical amount used. Finally, we tried looking for incentives available for green energy projects, including solar and energy storage, but unfortunately no incentives are currently available and we could not include this. Toronto Hydro supplies electricity to York University's campus, so it only made sense to use their rates. The only available rates on SAM were from 2018, so we chose the 2018 commercial and tiered rates. We want the tiered rates because this is typically the electricity pricing model businesses use to minimize operational electricity costs even during high loads. In order to estimate the load profile of the Bergeron, we used the Download Electric Load Macro feature in SAM. This allowed us to choose a building which approximated the Bergeron's load profile. We chose a large office building and then scaled the load to match the Bergeron's yearly energy demands. From our simulations, we determined that the optimal configuration will be using the Longi bifacial panels and the 208 volt ABB inverters. SAM provided us with a report of all the important metrics from our simulation. The LCOE of our proposed system is 7.71 cents per kilowatt hour while the payback period is 10.3 years. We also used the graphs to ensure the generated power was sufficient for the electricity loads of the Bergeron.